Hello, if you're anything like me, you're playing a lot of online RPGs at the moment, and sometimes getting music and audio to work in these games can be a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you a way that seems a bit complicated to set up, but once you have it set up, it's something you don't really have to mess with again. So what you want to do is download something called Voice Meter Banana. Uh, this is a piece of software which kind of creates these virtual audio cables that let you route audio into different places. So what this is essentially going to be able to do is mean that any sound that you're making on your desktop, whether it's from iTunes or from YouTube, will come to your player's ears. So, once you've downloaded it, oh it's free software by the way, uh, make sure you download Voice Meter Banana and not just the straight up normal Voice Meter. But yeah, it's free. Once you've downloaded it, open it up and then go to your computer sound settings. What you want to do is make sure that your output device is selected as Voice Meter AUX input. Then on the top left here where it says select input device, you need to choose your microphone from the drop down menu. Now it will give you a choice between a WDM version of your microphone and an MME version of your microphone. I'm not really sure whether it makes much of a difference which one you choose, so just, just try the WDM one first. And if your players complain of any weird microphone issues on your end, just try switching it over. Once you've clicked that, Go down here and click the mono button, and what you also want to do is disable here it says A1. If you don't have that disabled, you'll be able to hear yourself back through the microphone with a little bit of a delay and it gets really, really confusing. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go to this voice meter VAIO bit. This is basically where you're going to hear your players through, and you don't want to have them hearing themselves back. So unclick B1 here. Basically A1 is anything going to your earphones or your speakers and B1 is anything going to their speakers. Once you've done that, up here where it says A1, choose your speakers or your headphones from this drop down me uh, menu. Again there's a WDM version and an MME version of, of your uh, speakers but I don't really know what the difference is. Just choose one of them. It should help, probably be fine. If it isn't, try switching it over. Uh, one last thing uh, in Voice Meter Banana is when you're in a game, what you might want to do is if you're having a lot of background noise being picked up by your mic, you will you might want to mess with this slider here. This basically introduces a, what's called a noise gate, which will cut out any sound that's below a certain volume level. So try and move that up and to a point at which the players can't hear too much background noise, but don't go too high because what it might start doing is just cutting out your voice. Uh, and then if you ever have your players complaining of the music being too loud, you can either turn it down in whatever program you're playing the music through, or you can turn this fader up and down. And the same thing with your mic, if you can you can make your mic quieter and louder uh, from this fader. And you can just double click those to bring them back to zero. Alright, so now you have all this set up, you can open any program and play some audio and it will route it through voice meter now. However, you want your players to be able to hear it. So what you want to do is open your program of choice. So I'm going to show you Discord first. Go into your voice settings, and this kind of sounds a bit counterintuitive, but set your input device as voice meter output, and set your output device as voice meter input. You want to disable automatically determine input sensitivity, and you want to move that all the way down to the left. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this with Zoom. So first, there's a couple of options you need to change on your Zoom online profile first. So go onto Zoom on the website, log in and go to settings, and then the meeting tab under settings. And then find the uh, stereo sound setting. There we go. Allow users to select stereo audio in their clients. What you want to do is uh, make sure that is clicked. Yes. For some reason mine says locked by admin. I don't know why, but you should be able to have a slider here that turns this on or off. Uh, what you also want to be able, uh, also want to do is search original sound, and where it says allow users to select original sound in their client settings, you want to make sure that is enabled as well. Once you've done this, you can close your website and open up Zoom, and go to your audio settings. In your audio settings, go to speaker, select voice meter input for your speaker, and voice meter output for your microphone. What you want to do is disable automatically adjust volume and you want to click this enable stereo sound button. Now when you start a meeting, if you've changed those settings on the website you should have a little toggle here that says turn off or turn on original sound. You want to get it so it's this blue colour where it says turn off original sound. 
And once you finish talking to your players and you finish your game, close voice meter banana. Then go to your sound settings again on your computer and change your output device back to your speakers. Okay, and that should be everything. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully this helps. And I hope you enjoy lots of great games over the uh, lockdown period and with lots of great music. And speaking of music, if you're after RPG music, check out the rest of my channel. I upload new RPG music specifically designed for use at the tabletop. Sometimes, maybe two or three times a week, new tracks are popping up. Um, I have a Patreon, so if anyone's interested in supporting me there, then uh, I'll provide a link below. And if you do support me on Patreon, you get downloadable versions of my tracks. Uh, uh, some of the higher tiers, you might get like one hour versions or these loopable versions as well. And you also get some behind the scenes making of videos where you get to watch me write a, a music track from beginning to end. So thanks for watching and happy gaming!